Now here's another one that we did. These were a couple that TLT has been a pretty good one, but here's one, uh, the same same thing with TLT. And let me show you the trade setup first. So here was TLT right here. And we were looking for, this was the, what we're looking for is that, that kind of a bottoming here. See that bottoming out? Okay, so then we set the trade up here. It could have kept going sideways, but we th thought there's a high probability it's gonna bottom based on our indicators, based on chart pattern. So we did this TLT trade doing a call calendar diagonal. All right, so here was the trade when it sent out with the alert service, says new TLT long, trade at 94.35 daily plus four hour cycle low reversal, uh, target 95 and 96. So this was buying a calendar. Uh, we started off this with a calendar at uh, 95. So this was a 16 Feb, 31 Feb 95 call at 73. And then we adjusted it to a calendar diagonal. So on the 31st, so we did this adjustment it, here. So, so ended up with this adjustment where we were let long, the adjust straight now, we were long now, the 16th of 95 call and a half short the 7th of 98, okay? So we went from a 95, we rolled the spread down and did a, a rolled it up. So we started out with a 95 calendar. And so this, you know, we'll go through this in the course in greater detail. And then it was going up. So we rolled the spread up to the 95 and a half a long strike, just a half a half a dollar more, and then wind it instead of having it as a counter. Now we sold against it the 98 call with the seven fifth. All right, so working the trade to the upside, and so this one one it was one that we kind of worked it up to the upside and uh, similar to the Exxon trade. So that same concept, same kind of. Uh, you know, outline of what you're trying to do. So set it up here, did the adjustment here, and then started taking profit there. So here's the, you know, ended up with this, started out with the calendar, started out with the 95 calendar, and then did the adjustment. And now we're into the 95 and a half, 16 Feb long, short the 7th Feb 98. So we widened that spread out. We had that spread then reduced down to 91 because we took a nice profit from the first adjustment when the 95. So we had this adjusted down to $91 and the spread blew to 236. So we had $145 per spread, 159% return.